Across Cuyahoga County, studies show more than half of residents live in areas where it's difficult to buy affordable, healthy food. We previously told you about the closure of grocery stores in Cleveland's Collinwood neighborhood and plans for a new market in Clark Fulton to address that neighborhood's food access challenges. News 5's Catherine Ross is following through tonight to introduce us to the person filling a brand new role in Cleveland's fight against food access inequality. Ronald Miner can walk to the pharmacy in the dollar store from the senior apartments near Lakeshore Boulevard, but he can no longer take a walk to the nearest grocery store. I have to catch the bus and go down to the other days down on 185th or um, save a lot. Catch the bus. It's all down that way. News 5 reported when Dave's Market closed its doors in April of 2022, and now we're following through. Since the closure, the senior community has been offering a twice a week shuttle. But Miner says he often relies on public transportation to get fresh meat and produce. That's awful because you know, I have to have my cart with me, my shopping cart. Carrying them bags back, you know, that's, that's a, a lot of trouble right there. At the least, the loss of the grocery store has been an inconvenience for many in Collinwood. And some even consider the now food desert a public health dilemma. It's a big issue it's because, like I say, it affects the elderly the most. The Cleveland Department of Health says lack of access to healthy food further exacerbates health disparities in neighborhoods like this. It's one reason why it's bringing on board a new person specifically tasked with tackling food deserts. I want folks to be able to feel like they um, had a voice and that their voice is being heard and that there's um, action steps coming out of it. Zena Pixler is several weeks into her new role as the city's first local food system strategies coordinator. It's one of just 19 across the country and currently a two year grant funded position. It's a product of collaboration between the Department of Public Health and members of local advocacy groups. Really pushing towards community ownership and community power, um, I think is, is absolutely crucial. Tuesday, local advocates tout the importance of collaboration and empowering communities, especially communities of color, to create their own solutions to food access. Village Family Farms is working to address systemic challenges in the Huff neighborhood, where life expectancy is several decades shorter than its more affluent neighbors. Pixler plans to help coordinate efforts like this, help groups leverage existing resources, and tackle food inequality. When thinking about uh, increasing food access, Urban farms and gardens are great, but you also have to think about how we get that food to people. Some people struggling to get easy access tell us they're hopeful about the city's investment, but hope to see quick change in their neighborhoods. They need to hurry up and bring something out here for us, for us older folks now. Pixler hopes to create a food action plan for the city. She also hopes the temporary position will become permanent. We'll continue to follow through on the work she's doing and whether it has an impact. In Cleveland, Catherine Ross, News 5. Okay, so one note here. Cleveland is far from the only U.S. city where food deserts exist for sure. The USDA's most recent food access research report estimates that 19 million people live in food deserts. That's 6% of the population. Urban residents count for nearly 17 million of those people, and more than 2 million Americans who live in food deserts do not have access to transportation.